Welcome back, friends, to more Let's Play so Final Fantasy XIV! What's going on, boss lady? How is the packing going? Okay, not a bad plan. Okay. I shall be your bodyguard. Okay. Good plan. So we're still going to remain ownership to retain ownership of the building. So that's cool. Poor guy's going to stay by himself though. It's all right. Got some other people keeping company. Okay, let's pretend I understood any of that. <laughs> I I just can't keep up with 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 his his manner his his speech mannerisms, and like half the time, like I just can't read it. Like I have to like skim through it. I mean, I pr if I probably sat down and really looked at it, I could probably understand what he's talking about. But ninety percent of the time, I I just can't. My mind just completely just wanders off. I'm like, okay, what the hell did he just say? I'm admitting it. <laughs> Wait, what? People, she has a name. Uh, what? What just happened? Hollywood heart attack? What? 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 Uh, w weren't you just behind the desk? What's happening? Are, are you okay? Get a pillow, check her pulse, um, um, something? Anything? No, we're just gonna have a flashback. Oh, great. So now we're gonna have two bodies on the floor. Awesome! So, uh, I, I guess we're flashing back to five minutes ago? What? Ah, crud! Okay. Uh, okay, tell me who you are, sir, and what is your purpose here? Um... Did we not forget the part about Asians being immortal kind of thing? Yeah.
Minoru can see him. the Moogles are kind of the same. They don't, like I said before, they don't appear to people who they don't want to be seen by. So I don't know, I'm not sure why this is such a, a shocking revelation here. Uh, I ask again, good sir, your name and your purpose here. So, um, that was a thing. Y yeah, I saw the whole thing. Thankfully, I didn't pass out myself for once. Yeah, right? Well, it took you too long enough. No, she was just lying down. I'm um, pretty sure she wants to be standing up right now. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I have some pretty nasty gas and, and I just had a random thought. Of course, duh. So, uh, now we're gonna look for a guy who just teleported the crap out of here and could be an East Bumfuck for all we know. But, okay. I mean, we still don't know who he was or what his reasons, assuming it even isn't he, uh, for being here are, so... I guess it's kind of worth investigating. Meanwhile, I think the rest of you should finish packing up your stuff and you might want to get the heck out of here. Um, I'm pretty sure Uriandre just told you to stay with him. Um, that might be a better idea. Oh, well, look at this. Isn't that utterly convenient? I can't help but wonder if you were waiting for me. Okay, okay, so you're testing me, huh? Is that it? Okay. So north we have a pile of purple smoke. Okay. Being judged. Hey! 
I resent that, sirs. Okay, so those little imps were no match for me. Let's keep going. I want to talk to you, sir. I have several questions with which to... Ah, Jesus. Okay, sir. I defeated your gruesome gargoyle, too. What next do you have for me? Pile of zombies? Uh, giant gobu, perhaps? Maybe even a morble? More gargoyles. You, sir, are not very creative. All right, buddy. Getting a little impatient here. Not much for way to go for me to fuck continue following you. So, uh, what you doing now? Hello, Mr. Giant Spider. There you are. Oh, great. More Asians. You know, if we kind of master the power of the echo here, we might, we might be uh, buddy buddies. So, so why you attack me, bro? Haven't I passed your tests already? I, I mean, I, I I destroyed the ultimate weapon. I I defeated, although temporarily. Uh, Habrea, come on, come on. I want to get some credibility here. here. My name is Nameless Protagonist. How are you? Shake hands? Something? Anything? Okay. Well, that whole incident was just kind of... weird? give him credit for one thing. At least, you know, like La Habrea, before we really started meddling in his plans and making him a little bit angry, uh, he's relatively polite in at least acknowledging of what we can do. So I kind of like that. Well, I at least found out his name. yet. So what are we going to do about this? Final favor, okay. Can we... Yay! Finish packing! Uh, okay, 
it would have been nice to know about this a long time ago, but okay. Um, shouldn't have we been researching this a long time ago then? I mean, I have slain, seriously, uh, three and, well, I, I guess we can count King Mong, even though he's, his status as an actual primal or somewhat disputed, but he's generally still counted, so that's four different primals I've slain, three of which I've slain twice, and just now we're bringing that we have a journal that has some possible answers to some of this crap in here? Uh, pray forgive me, but that's bullcrap. So did he, write, did he write it all in code or something? Or I don't know. Oh great, so you couldn't even wait for me. Yeah, um, I, I've only been there, uh trying to get uh, new adventures to come in and everything like that so uh, yeah I'm pretty sure I've already been there already no I don't want to do return I want to teleport to my free spot no I don't want to talk to Mr. Quest God that I can't even see behind the pole thank you so finally we're all done with our move hooray I don't know why she left like without us because I mean I know she made a point that she was going to be the last to leave and it's pretty much like assume, like everyone who's currently here is just non-significant NPCs at this point in there. But didn't she like want me there with her to be her like personal bodyguard ish when she left? All I should do is wait five minutes for me to come out the hallway. Jeez, rude. Is that Ruby? It is! Hi Ruby, I didn't know she appears here. She's sniffing her feet. <laughs> now her owner doesn't come all the way down there. She pretty much just stays up in that, that makeshift marketplace up there. But I've never seen Ruby there before. I have seen her owling on this post though before. Alright, so hey! Welcome to our new headquarters! Which is actually behind the seventh heaven here. So great, we have our new headquarters in the back room of a bar. I don't know if this is just really odd or really freaking awesome. I, I don't know. Let's just talk to some people for a moment here. Well, technically, we just moved, so... Yay! So we got some new books. Well, well I want to rest. Can I, can I rest in here? Look, we got some even potted plants. We got plenty of tables. This place is big! Stop your monologuing, then. Jeez, look at the size of this place. Wow. Um, hello. Yeah, in case you haven't figured it out, yeah, Ida just beat the crap out of him. Go, Ida. <laughs> Hello, short stack. What are you doing out here? Well, we've been here for a whole five minutes. Yeah, good, good, good idea. Good plan. Let's just enjoy it as it is, and then flip them off the next time they come to our door and be like, "We owe you no obligations." And look, I just got stuff at my shop that just sold. Oh, hi, people. 
Oh, these these are the guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about this. These are the uh, the two adventurers guild leaders people. I guess they're they're finishing discussing and final arrangements and um, conditions of our move here and whatnot. I never realized that before. Group hug? Housewarming party? Anybody? Anybody? That is a big desk. You can use a little paint on the walls, but that's pretty homey enough as it is. I mean, we've got some fireplaces, got some nice chairs, got a couple new bookshelves of books. This place is awesome! Yay! Can we mark it on the calendar? And get drunk every year? Can we? some kazoos and vuvuzelas in here or something and maybe some confetti in those party popper things something anything anything you people want no fun uh yeah what about him oh hey what are you doing here um That's a little odd. Yeah, I mean, didn't they just give us a bunch of books? You had to say it, didn't you? Of course, that means now you said it, you jinxed it, and that's gonna be the trick, isn't it? Well, we got Warrior Light. We have a rich little short stack outside. I I'm sure we can negotiate something here. Uh, Minvilia, not funny. Not funny! Oh, but it is never that easy. What's the alternative? Um, okay. Another secret meeting going on here.
Well, who on you then? love to just talk in cryptic tones, don't you? But hooray! So we made it to our beautiful new home. I didn't even get my couch. Although, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna invade this one, alright? I am gonna here and sit on this couch. Bench, stool, could be a futon for all I know, but this is mine. I claim ownership of this. Look at me posing all fabulously over here. Ugh. So anyway, that is actually the end of the 2.1 uh, main scenario storyline. I told you it was going to be much, much shorter. Um, took us forever to actually move, but we learned about a new Asian. We slowly, we uh, discovered and slew a new primal. Uh, we helped Revenant's Toll grow a little bit, so we, we still accomplished much. But before we continue on with the main story, as I accidentally uh, get my headset cord caught because my cat is in my way, uh, there's a couple other things we need to do. Mainly, we have three uh, new level 50 dungeons we need to tackle. Uh, we have, and there's one long side quest I'm actually going to leave for a later time that was introduced in this patch, but. There is another side story that's going to be uh, the subject of a two-part special next uh, next couple episodes. So look forward to that. They're going to be the the, uh, the long ones again, unfortunately. But you got to keep cohesive plot lines and whatnot. So thank you for watching, friends. And I hope you shall join me next time.